Thanks for watching the. Oh, hey, hold on a second. I don't know. You probably can't see me too well there, huh? All right, give me one second. Thanks for watching the Two Wrench Works and DIY guys. That's a little better. So today's video it's about this box. What's in the box? Crazy news. Big update. Let's get down to see what's really inside the big unveil, right? It's gonna be pretty crazy. I know some people that are already subscribed are looking forward to this. I've kind of hinted about it. You probably aren't seeing me on, you probably haven't seen me on Reddit or anything, but if you have, and you're some of my subscribers, this is finally the update I've been talking about. And here we go. It's pretty crazy, I'm gonna let you know. It's actually not in here. Hold on. So, welcome to the new project of our channel. It's uh, our little buddy Veloce. He is a seven week old whippet now. He's about like seven and two or three days. Somewhere around there, I believe. He was born November 21st. Um, we don't have Whippet money. This is a budget channel, as I've said a million times. Uh, this is like, 2020 actually gave us something pretty cool. And as you can tell, he's already nuzzled up. He's just being such a little mensch. He's just a, a ball of en everything. Energy, love, fighting, his big brother Bear, our other pup that we have for the channel. I've had him in a few videos and uh, we ended up getting him, as I mentioned before, my wife is a vet doctor. Uh, she works in uh, ECC, like emergency critical care. And this little guy came in around 10 days old. Uh, very exper experienced breeders gave him. Uh, he has some excellent mother and father. We met them. Very, very fast, beautiful dogs. Shout out to uh, Timber Whippets, I believe it is. I'll put a little picture here for them. If you're interested in an excellent Whippet line, these are the guys to go see. and. Uh, they have a Facebook page, you can contact them. And uh, this is how we ended up getting Veloce. Uh, he seems to be a little hungry, I think. It might be time to munch. But uh, he has a cleft palate, unfortunately. His is on the roof of his mouth and it like goes down the line where your palate, can, like both sides of your roof connect to make your palate there. I'm not a medical doctor, but uh, usually pups like this pass um it's extremely expensive to keep them alive throughout the whole beginning process they can't feed from their mother and this is the problem <laughs> this is the problem he was having uh he it will aspirate into his lungs gives them pneumonia they die almost you know pretty quickly right around there uh so we got lucky with him we got really really lucky uh the breeders brought him in and they ended up you know just saying if there was anybody that worked there that could, you know, uh, save him and wanted to take the dog on as like a full-time pet of theirs to, you know, to try to save him. And luckily, we, you know, my wife was there at the right time and I'm absolutely in love with sight hounds. Uh, Greyhounds are awesome. I'm a car guy. I love fast stuff. Boats, jet skis, any of that stuff. So, uh, you know, it was really cool to to be able to meet them and become a part of the Sighthound family and you know had this little guy he was when we got him I mean a pound ish he was actually the second biggest of his breeding litter uh, of seven I believe there was including him and by the time they brought him to us he was by far the smallest so for him to be where he is now he actually doesn't even look the same at all color wise his brindle has like gotten insane he used to just be like a little black tiny puffball that was kind of cute. But uh, he's still as adorable as ever though. Uh, his brindle is very cool looking and bigger by the day. Um, we, are, we are now past the terrible times of having to tube feed him. We would have to like, well, my wife would measure out a tube to feed him down, you know, feed it into his stomach. And that was the only way we could get formula into him. And slowly but surely every few hours, uh, still not sleeping much, but it was even less then. Uh, we right now we're we're on to 
you know, hoping he gets a little bit bigger and Ricky could be sleeping in bed, but right now, uh, it's, he has to be slept with basically on an air mattress. <laughs> Since he was separated from his litter, he's very, I guess you could say, kind of needy. Um, he doesn't really like being alone. It's very cold here, so, you know, being a whippet, there's no fur. And, uh, yeah, uh, long, nights can be kind of hard. I found out uh, little stuffies, stuffed animals. If you ever have a, if you're interested in rescuing or you ever pick up one that's well below like the normal release age of eight weeks when you buy a puppy or get, adopt one out or something, uh, you you should probably look into getting a stuffy for them. It's like a little companion. They actually make like a snuggie or something like that for uh, snuggle pet, something like that. And it's actually a small dog, and it, you could reheat this little cartridge that goes in it, and it has this fake battery-powered heartbeat, and they think it's like another puppy, and it makes them sleep easier and longer, and boy, he howls. So uh, we had him in a little crate by our bed for a while and in the middle, um, but now that he's so big, it's just he's, he doesn't like it, and he freaks out, so he, we basically have a dog bed. I put in the corner of an air mattress and that's where I sleep right now. We're kind of split up, but uh, it's best for him. He's like not really to where he is going to be left alone, but he can be independent. He hops off and goes to the bathroom. I'm, I have like a little pee pad set up for him. So we're starting to get there now too. And uh, that's pretty much it. I wanted to, you know, update everybody. He is eating soft foods and uh, little bits of kibble. Some stuff eventually still does come out of his cleft. You know, he drinks his own water. He's been doing that for three or four weeks now. Him and Bear are already best friends. It's kind of, it's kind of crazy. We got him December 10th. I'm going to say you're not, I thought he was peeing on me maybe. <laughs> uh, we got him December 10th and I want to say he's almost five pounds now. He was probably like one pound, a couple of ounces when we got him. So big blow up for Veloce here and uh, the origination of his name is it's Italian Greyhounds everybody you know always mistakes whippets for Italian Greyhounds or you know similarity to them so I thought it would be cool to give like a Italian name as a shout out you know and uh, Veloce is like an Italian I'm not Italian but I looked at myself so I'm not pronouncing it perfect but you know it's a uh, like speedy fast racer that's what it means in Italian so that's Veloce, our little buddy, who uh, is getting sleepy and a little cold. Um, so I guess it's time for us to go. And uh, I'll post some more updates. I appreciate you guys if you've made it this far. This is a lot of talking without a whole lot of fun stuff. Uh, but hey, uh, who doesn't love puppy pictures and everything? Uh, so <laughs> if you want to enjoy more stuff about you know whippets and you want to watch our little buddy here grow, um, I can't wait to keep updating you guys and I can't wait to, we love to go hiking and there's off leash stuff all near us so I can't wait to have him zoom around with us and we're already working on recall, he knows his name pretty well. Um, everything's going great so it's our little miracle guy. So thanks for watching guys, have, hope your uh, 2020 was good, you had a happy new year's and hope you're 2021 is going to be even better. Please do help me hit 1,000. I'm, I'm up to hit 1,000 this year. So I'm trying to make a little bit of money doing this YouTube stuff or make my money back at least. I already put a bunch into it. So take care. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one. Bye. <laughs>